Stars are giant burning balls of plasma, just like our sun. Science has come to the point that we can observe galaxies thousands of light years away thanks to the invention of the telescope. Stars born and die every day. Some are the size of a football field, and some are thousands of times bigger than our sun. But there must be a limit, right? Have we discovered the biggest stars in the observable universe? This is a tough question to answer. Today, we will talk about 10 of the biggest stars we have found so far. Make sure you watch the video until the end, hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 10, V838 Monocarotis. V838 Monocarotis belongs to the Monokeros constellation. This is a red star and is 19,900 light years away. In 2002, this star first appeared on the radar after a massive eruption. The reason for the eruption, however, is still a mystery to scientists and astronomers. They have proposed many theories, like the eruption resulting from the merger of two planets and a binary star or stellar death processes. V838 Monocarotis is undoubtedly a huge star, but doesn't even come close to some of the stars on this list. It has a solar radius of around 380, and for your reference, one solar radius is equal to 695,700 kilometers. Number 9, Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is a star from the Orion constellation, one of the most well-known constellations to us. This star can only be seen between October and March every year. Located around 640 light years away from us, it is roughly four times bigger than our sun, estimated to be 764 solar radii. Apart from being one of the biggest, this star is also the brightest in the observable universe in the Orion constellation. It comes at number nine for its size and second for its brightness since it is one of the stars that can be seen by the naked eye. Astronomers believe that Betelgeuse can turn into a supernova at any given time. Number 8. KW Sagittari KW Sagittari is also known as KWSGR. It is a red supergiant star and its temperature is 3700 Kelvin. KW Sagittari is located on the constellation Sagittarius boundary in the Milky Way galaxy and is still considered a part of the constellation. It lies 7,800 light years away from Earth with a solar radius between 1,009 and 1,460. Unlike Betelgeuse, you need a telescope to see this star. It stretches out past the orbit of Jupiter if placed in the center of the solar system. Number seven. V354 Cephei and VX Sagittari. On number seven, we have two participants. They are two different stars positioned at two different galaxy spots, but have an identical 1520 solar radii. V354 Cephei is a red hypergiant star that belongs to the Cepheus constellation and is roughly 9,000 light years away from Earth. While VX Sagittari is also a red hypergiant star but is a little closer to the Earth with a distance of 1,076 light years. Number 6. RW Cephei. RW Cephei is the sixth largest star in the universe, belonging to the Cepheus constellation, and is found at the edge of the Sharpless 132 HII region and close to the small open cluster Berkeley 94. This is one of the biggest stars in the universe, being 1,000 times bigger than our Sun. This star is an orange hypergiant with the solar radii of 1535 and is 11,400 light years away from Earth. If you replace the Sun with this star in the solar system, it will stretch even beyond Jupiter's orbit. Number 5. Uy Scuti Uy Scuti was first discovered by a German astronomer back in 1860. This hypergiant star is at least 1,700 times larger than our Sun and 9,500 light years away from us. The astronomer found the star and named it BD 12 5055, and it lies near the core of the Milky Way and has a solar radius of 1708. You can only imagine how big this star is. Number 4. HD 143183 
HD143183 is also a hypergiant star and it belongs to the constellation Norma. Without any doubt, one of the biggest stars in the universe with a radius between 1480 and 1830 solar radii. It can be found on the constellation's outskirts and is 6,523 light years away from Earth. Number 3. V.Y. Canis Majoris Up next in this list is V.Y. Canis Majoris. It was known as the brightest star in the universe a few years ago. Today, it is known as one of the most luminous hyperstars. The size of this star is roughly 2,069 solar radii as calculated by astronomers. It is part of the Canis Major constellation and around 3,900 light years away from us. Number 2. WOH G64 WOH G64 is an unusual red supergiant star in the large Magellanic Cloud Satellite Galaxy located in Dorado's southern constellation. Bengt Wusterland, Olander and Hedin discovered the star in 1970 and the name of the star comes from the names of the three discoverers. It is the second largest known star and one of the most luminous and massive red supergiant stars. It has a radius of between 1,800 and 2,400 times that of the Sun. WOH G64 is surrounded by a thick dust envelope of roughly a light year diameter containing three to nine times the Sun's mass of expelled material created by the strong stellar wind. If WOH 64 were placed at the solar system center, the star would engulf Jupiter's orbit. Number 1. Westerland 126 Westerland 126 was first discovered in 1961 by Bengt Westerland during an infrared survey in the avoidance zone of the sky. He described it as a heavily reddened cluster in Ara. Westerland 126 is also known as WD-126, which is a red supergiant lying within the outskirts of the Westerland 1 superstar cluster. It is one of the largest stars discovered so far. Its radius is still uncertain, but it is calculated to be 1,165 to 1,221 solar radii with an upper estimate of 2,550 solar radii. If we place Westerland 126 at the solar system center, its photosphere would engulf Saturn's orbit. These are the biggest stars in the universe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come.